Hi everyone. So today I'm going to present to you our research on laser cut passing through open beam to circular hollow section column connections. Now before I move in directly to our research, a question arises like why the CHS columns? Because it gives us certain amount of benefits compared to the equivalent H section columns such as structures built using hollow sections can have approximately 40% lighter weight. They require a lesser volume of fire protection material due to a smaller surface area. And especially the circular hollow sections demonstrate excellent properties in resisting high compression tension as well as bending in all directions. They have also proved to be the best shape for elements under wind, water and wave loading scenarios. And also if you can uh, put concrete infill inside these hollow sections, you can easily achieve a composite behavior which has its own benefits. But in our construction industry, we often use or design the beams as I sections. Now to use I sections and CHS or circular hollow sections as columns, we need to find a suitable connection between the I beam and the CHS column. Now in today's construction industry, there are some existing open to CHS connections. Let's call them conventional connections for this research study. Now these connections are prepared in such a way that the I beams are either directly welded to the CHS column surface as you can see on the left or external diaphragms are used outside the CHS column with which the beams are attached. <clears throat> now these kind of connections have certain limitations such as due to the direct connection with the CHS column surface in the first case, the CHS column undergoes severe local distortions as we have seen from many literature studies in the previous 10 years. And for the second type of connection with the external diaphragms, you can already see how complex the joint looks. And this complexity actually makes the fabrication process very difficult. Now, for both of these connections, we also get a huge requirement for welding. Now, to avoid these kind of limitations, a passing through approach was proposed which the main beams or the load carrying beams were connected to members passing through the CHS column via ready-made slots. So the CHS column does not have to take all the stress alone. Now in the previous years these slots were used to be made manually and that is why researchers were not able to provide detailed results. Thanks to the laser cutting technology which was incorporated with this approach we would get automated machines and high precision in cutting these slots which made our life easier and thanks to that we could carry on our research study using this passing through approach. This was proposed in the URFCS project last icon and this presentation will give you an overview of what happened in that project. We developed certain kind of connections. Firstly, the last icon two-way open to CHS connection. As you can see configuration one, the main beams were attached with a I section passing through the CHS column. And in configuration two, the main beams were attached with a steel plate passing through the CHS column. In both these cases, the main beams were connected via the web only and that is why they were called pinned or shear connections. Similarly, configuration three and configuration four, we had the same type of passing through members. However, the beams, the main beams in these cases were attached via the flanges and the web and so they were called rigid or moment resisting connections. Now for all these connections, we did experimental investigations as well as numerical studies under different load cases. For experimental studies, we first pre-designed some of these connections and we tested them on different loading cases such as the gravitational loading and the double bending loading which is closer closer to a seismic loading scenario and we did a thorough experimental investigation 
and simultaneously we also develop numerical models in a finite element software diana fea and then we validated the numerical models with respect to the experimental results and as you can see a good prediction was obtained we also matched the failure modes and the numerical results agreed with the experimental results as you can see for configuration 3 under gravitational loading we had a failure through plastic load local buck buckling in the profile flanges for opposite bending loading we had failure in the connection zones of the passing through member and the chs column for configuration 4 under gravitational loading we had a, we had a local buckling in the flange plate under compression inside the chs column and under the opposite bending loading we had the same failure mode as configuration 3 after this we used our numerical models to do a thorough or comprehensive numerical parametric studies to identify the influence of the various component dimensions welding configurations material properties etc etc we changed the chs diameter thickness the section of the passing through member the material properties of the chs column and the passing through member also the moment to shear ratio ratio etc Based on these parametric studies, it was easy to identify the force transfer mechanism for all the configurations. Now, I won't be able to discuss them in details in this presentation, but they are discussed in details in the paper. And finally, we compared these passing through last icon connections with the conventional directly welded connections having the same kind of geometrical sections. Under gravitational loading, we saw that a 2.2 times thicker CHS column was required for the conventional configurations to match the resistance of a last icon configuration. And for an opposite bending loading, a 1.4 to 1.6 times thicker CHS column was needed for the conventional connections. A significant loss in joint stiffness was also observed. So all in all, the last icon connections performed better than the conventional directly welded connections. Now, up till now, what connections we have discussed were symmetric connections, like we had either pinned connections on both sides of the CHS column or moment resisting connections on both sides of the CHS column. We also came up with certain asymmetric open to CHS connections where we had moment resisting connections on the left side of the CHS and not pinned connections on the right side of the CHS column. We basically combined configuration one and configuration three on a particular joint, and we also combined configuration two and configuration four on a particular joint. Then similarly as before, we designed some case studies for experimental investigation, and we wanted to see if the joint could provide the adequate amount of strength till the failure occurs in the main beam. And we got that for both kind of failures in the beam like for instance as you can see here we reached the shear failure of the main beams and the joint stayed in the elastic zone and also we reached a flexural failure of the main beams when the joint stayed in the elastic zone we also <clears throat> compared the rotational stiffness of the joint uh, with the main beams with respect to the main beams according to eurocode Part 3 part 1a to confirm that if the nominally pinned joints behaved as pin joints and the moment resisting joints behaved as moment resisting joints and yes they did as you can see here for the moment resisting joints the force displacement behavior was also checked for the joints itself using elastic properties for the main beams to check if the design if the design guidelines that we have developed um, based on the parametric studies were suitable enough to predict the joint strength and yes they were similarly uh, we also came up with some four-way open to chs connections with the passing through members where we superimposed configuration one and configuration two configuration one and configuration three and lastly configuration three and configuration four finally composite Connections were also developed and tested in the University of Pisa <clears throat> where we had a concrete slab with a steel sheet uh, resting on the beams and we also used 
composite columns which is we uh, infilled concrete in the hollow sections the circular hollow sections and we check their behavior this would be presented in another presentation uh, in this conference finally so to conclude the last check on passing through connections proved to be a good alternative to the existing ibm to chs column connections and the new developed design guidelines provided to prove to be quite suitable in predicting their strength the moment resting last check on configurations gave a larger joint strength as well as a larger joint stiffness under both the gravitational and seismic loading scenarios compared to a conventional directly welded connection the passing through elements could contribute to resisting up to 95 percent of the external bending moment which therefore prevented the local distortions of the chs wall and premature flange fractures we also got a lot of economic as well as environmental benefits and this is discussed in a lot of details in our project report however there were some points we thought that were important and we couldn't do our research on them in project last icon but fortunately we started uh, another eu rfcs research project in this year called last gts where we are going to study these uh, important points such as we will extend this laser cutting approach to uh, square hollow sections as well as uh, rectangular hollow sections as columns uh, we will derive, derive suitable design guidelines we will assess the fabrication procedures and tolerances for these new kind of joints and most importantly we will characterize the heat affected zones under this laser cutting technique we will also perform some local investigations in the weld zone uh, with different type, types of welding techniques such as fillet welding or full penetration welding in order to minimize the welding included in these in these joints and finally we look forward to experimentally characterize the fire performance of the lct joints to investigate the possibility to limit fire protection on the connection that was it Thank you for your patient hearing. Hope you have a nice day.